I can film a whole video wearing this on my face. A little too creepy. Hey guys, welcome back. Clearly, I didn't really think through the process of filming this video very well because if I had, I probably would have applied that face mask after I filmed the video because I ended up basically doing a face mask, filming the intro, washing off the face mask, and then piling on a bunch of makeup. It just, it's totally nonsensical, but ugh, what are you gonna do? But anyway, as you could probably guess from the title of this video, we're going to be talking about face masks. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about the Freeman Beauty face masks that I recently bought. And since I just got this shipment, like, a week ago. I haven't really had a chance to test out every single one of the masks because I kind of bought a lot of them. So that means this is mostly going to be a haul and you know the ones that I have tried out then I'll tell you a little bit about them but mostly it's a haul. Like I haven't been doing a lot of those lately. So just to give you a little bit of the backstory so that you know why I ended up buying so many of these masks. It's because I watched a video by Michelle. Her channel name is Mini Mishi and she made me do it. She actually was showing us all of the masks that she bought talking about some of her favorite masks that she loves from this brand and then she had a magical coupon code that was for buy three get three free so um, I had to buy six masks just based on the coupon code and then I wanted to get free shipping so then I ended up buying like three more masks for a total of nine face masks because we don't exaggerate here on this channel at all no we totally need nine different face masks but you know what with that coupon code and the fact that Freeman Beauty's masks are actually pretty inexpensive, I believe they're like $4 and some change, so they're not a lot of money. With her code on top of it, plus tax, I still only spent like, I think it was $25. And I bought nine face masks, you guys. Anyway, I will link her channel below so that you can check her out and I'll also link her video so that you can get her coupon code and all that fun stuff. Let's go ahead and see what I got and let's start with the face mask that I've actually had the opportunity to test out. So the first one I want to talk about is the one that I was wearing in the intro to this video and that is the Dead Sea Minerals Anti-Stress Mask. This one is good for all skin types and it says unwind from the grind by treating skin to a much needed respite with this nutrient rich mask. Dead sea minerals and sea salts help replenish and balance moisture while purging clogged pores. Lavender and bergamot put skin in a bliss like state and help rinse away stress for smooth radiant skin. <sighs> you guys, I don't know about you but I think we all suffer from a little bit of stress in our lives and I will pretty much take anything that uh, promises to help relieve that. Plus this was Michelle's favorite mask and she kind of has really nice skin so I had to I had to copy her. And I used it and I've got to tell you this stuff smells amazing. The lavender scent is subtle not too intense um, but it's still there kind of serving its soothing purpose. And then the bergamot gives it almost like a sweet kind of fruity scent. Again, it's not a super strong scent, but when you apply it on your face, you definitely notice it. And I personally thought it was fantastic and I can definitely see myself using this over and over and over again. So I'm kind of glad that I bought two of them. Then the next mask that I picked out was the charcoal and black sugar mud mask and this is supposed to be one of their newer masks and charcoal seems to be like the it thing lately it is in a lot of different skincare products now and it's really supposed to help with oily skin to help manage breakout it's supposed to smooth purify and moisturize and it is supposed to be for normal to combination skin and it says this is a velvety mud mask that works like magic to moisturize remineralize and make skin sensationally soft Dead Sea Minerals have a natural nourishing effect that boosts smoothness and overall skin health. Activated charcoal locks onto and lifts away oils and toxins without over drying skin. And black sugar helps skin hold on to hydration and smooth away roughness. So all of that stuff sounds wonderful to me. And so far I really like it. It applies like a normal mask. It's um, black. 
because of the charcoal. Whoopsie. And you basically just apply it and let it kind of dry on your face. So you know when you're wearing one of the mud face masks and it's dry and it's ready for you to rinse it off, you like get like the Botox effect on your face because it's so stiff that you basically can't move your face or your features, so you're just like... Well, that happens with both of these, as you would expect with like a mud mask. But when this one dried, like, I didn't end up leaving it on for longer than the recommended time because it did start to um, tingle a little. It was almost like a little bit of a slight sting. Not something unbearable, but just like, like it just got really stiff and it was all, it just almost felt like I could feel everything getting sucked out of my pores. Yeah, and I just basically had to go run wash it off. But then my skin felt like really soft and my pores looked itty bitty and my face was just like, Silky smooth. I don't know. It was fabulous, so I'm kind of glad I bought two of this one as well. And that's basically the only ones that I have tried so far, and also the only ones that I bought doubles of. I am so glad I ended up buying two of each of those because I really, really like those masks. Alright, so then the next one I bought was the Avocado and Oatmeal Clay Mask. And this one is supposed to deep clean and purify pores and it is for normal to combination skin and this one basically says nourish and purify with one amazing mask rich clays dive deep to purge dirt and oils from pores nutrient rich vitamin e avocado and oatmeal moisturize for lasting skin softness and skin looks and feels squeaky clean and is soft to the touch. I know that avocado is supposed to be like really, really good for your skin. I know people put it in their hair to do hair masks. And I know that they, you know, when people make like the natural DIY home face masks, they use avocado and put it on their face. So I figured this one would be great so that I wouldn't actually have to mash up an avocado and put it on my face because I, I like to eat avocados. And if it's in my house, I'm eating it. I'm not putting it on my face. Let's see what the avocado and oatmeal one smells like. It doesn't have a very strong smell. Kind of clean, but nothing too strong. So if you're looking for one that doesn't have a strong smell, you might want to check this one out. Then the next one I bought was the Sparkling Pear Pore Cleansing Mask. And this one is for oily combination skin and it is whipped clay that wipes out pores and it says skin clearing clays are whipped into an ultra light consistency enhancing their ability to coax impurities out of skin all without the dramatic tightening effects of traditional clay masks. Willow bark extract, a natural source of salicylic acid, exfoliates and clears pores to reveal smoother, fresher skin. Pear extract has astringent benefits to help minimize pore visibility for a perfected surface and refreshing tea tree removes impurities without over drying skin. All right, so you know how we were just talking about like the Botox effect that most clay masks give you. Apparently this one is not supposed to do that. It's supposed to be a little bit softer, but I also really like that this has the willow bark extract and the tea tree in it so that it will help kind of battle some of the side effects of having oily skin, which as we all know can sometimes lead to breakouts. So I purchased this mask just so that I can kind of help battle the slickness. Let's see how it smells. Mmm, and it smells nice. It smells like pears. Then the next one I bought was the Mint and Lemon Clay Mask. And this one is for breakout prone and oily skin and it's supposed to control oil and breakouts. So the back of this one says, this lemony cool clay mask delivers relief from inflammation caused by breakouts. Clay absorbs oils to minimize shine and the appearance of large pores. Mint and lemon cool and refresh. Now let's see what it smells like. Mmm. Oh, it's very, yeah, it does, it smells like lemons and it just, ha and, and mint, it really does. It has like a, a minty, lemony smell, like it, it, that, it smells like what it says. All right, two more masks. So the next one I picked up was the Acai Purifying Clay Mask, and I've seen this one in stores before, um, but I've never tried it, and this one is supposed to absorb impurities and it's supposed to be good for all skin types. And the back says, a quick fix for dulling skin powered by an eight- antioxidant blend of acai, goji, mango, mangosteen, pomegranate, cranberry, noni, and blueberry to neutralize environmental damage. Super oil absorbent clays draws out impurities from skin and cleans out clogged pores. So I just bought this one because I figured it was going to smell good and it was just going to be like a good kind of all-purpose mask. And it does indeed smell good. It smells 
It smells kind of like berries. It has like a berry scent to it. And I kind of like the promise of making your skin less dull. So like if you're just, if you've just had a really stressful week and your skin is just looking kind of like sad, then maybe this mask will help out. Okay, and then the last mask that I bought was the Charcoal and Black Sugar Polishing Mask. And this one is also supposed to be for good for all skin types. And it says it is a dual action purifying mask. And the back says, pollution, debris, it's a wonder skin can breathe. This unique mask and scrub works double time to detox skin. First, naturally purifying activated charcoal helps absorb oil and impurities without over drying. Then, black sugar helps exfoliate away dulling skin cells for softness and clarity. So basically, this mask I've read online is supposed to be a drugstore dupe for the Glam Glow Youth Mud. And I do have the Glam Glow Youth Mud, and it's a very nice mask. And I mean, how could you not try to pick up the $4 drugstore version when the Glam Glow full size will run you, you know, $69. And the charcoal and black sugar polishing mask, I think is supposed to be very similar to the charcoal and black sugar mud mask, except this one doesn't exfoliate. It's like when you rub it on your skin, it's just a completely smooth mask, while this one is probably going to be very similar to the youth mud one, where it has kind of like a gritty texture. So anyway, there you have it. That was my super mini review slash haul of my Freeman Beauty purchase. If you like this video and you want to see more hauls, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to comment below. Let me know which of all of these masks seems the most interesting to you. And if you've tried any of them before, let me know which one you've tried and whether or not you like it. And you know, until next time, I'll see you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.